I have a Mine Colony server that you guys are able to join. If you're interested, just join my channel by hitting the blue button below this video or go to my Patreon link in description. So today I'm going to cover every single build style there is in Mine Colonies as of the latest release, which is currently on 1.18. You will see there are chapters to this video, so you guys can skip ahead to the bits that are relevant for you if you wish, or come back and use this for future reference to look at all the different build styles. So what I've done, as you can see around me, is I've built uh, buildings from all the different styles, and I've actually built five buildings of every style where I can. In some instances, there are some of the buildings that are missing for certain schematics, so obviously I could not build those. But what I've done is built the Town Hall, University, the Builder, Citizen House, and Hospital uh, for each one of them. So that's what you guys are going to see for each style. The idea was to give you guys like a general feel of how each style is going to look and play out in your worlds, so you can make a decision on which one it is that you want to build. And I went for these buildings because the Town Hall and University and sometimes the Hospital can be kind of unique builds and quite big, elaborate builds, but then things like the Builder... Uh, hut and the citizen houses are just a bit more of your common builds which again are still important in your town and will help to give you that better feel for what each style really entails. So I'll try to show you as much as possible of each building. I'm going to hop into spectator mode and show you the inside as well as the outside but as you can see here and it's not even all rendered in but there are a ton of buildings to get through so I'm going to have to be a little bit speedy in going through them otherwise this video will take forever. First up we have the Acacia build so this right here is the Acacia Town Hall this is how it looks and just heading on inside that is how that one looks. Uh, if we move on here, uh, now for this one, I believe this is the Builder's Hut. The Acacia ones I did in the wrong order compared to all the others I sort of derped up. But here's the Builder's Hut. This is how it looks inside here. And this is how the Builder's Hut looks from the outside. Then moving on to this one right here. I'm not sure entirely what this is. Let's have a little look inside and then I'll let you guys know. It looks like there's beds, so I'm guessing this is probably going to be the Citizen Hut. Now, all of the buildings in this video are level five. Not sure if I mentioned that, but these are the most elaborate uh, versions of each of the buildings that you see. Uh, then over here, it looks like we might have ourselves the hospital. Yep, there we go. It's even got a little name. So this is how this one looks inside. Pretty cool, actually. And uh, through here as well. And if we come back out here, this is how it looks from the outside. And finally, the last of the Acacia builds is the Acacia University. So here we go right here. And they name all the things in the Acacia build for some reason. Pretty cool, though. Uh, very nice looking uh, build. But the university generally is for each of the different styles. This is the Asian build. This is the town hall that we're starting off with here. Sort of this, uh, I think they're called pagodas. I believe that's right. It's the pagoda sort of style build here. Uh, very elaborate and, and quite a nice build. A very unique build style. Really separates itself out from a lot of the other ones that you see here. Next up, we have the Asian university and again this one is very nice you can do an overview of this because it is quite open plan as you can see and this is what it looks like down in here over here we have uh, the builder this is the asian builder and uh, a nice little workyard there this is how this one looks and let's head inside here as well. Okay, there we go. That's the builder. Uh, now we have the uh, obviously the level five citizen house. There we go. So uh, a very colourful sort of style, actually the the Asian one. Lots of different coloured roofs and things like that. So uh, definitely, you know, let's say a very unique aesthetic to this whole style. And finally, of course, we have the hospital. So if we go in here, uh, you see here this is the hospital. The beds here all on the floor. Pretty cool the way in which they've done that. Um, and this is how it looks, obviously, from the outside. Now we have the birch build style. Again, this really is a style unto its own. You can see the town hall here. This is how this one looks. Uh, pretty cool, definitely. Uh, I'm going to need a lot of uh, diorite and granite and stuff like that for this one as well, I believe. Um, the back here as well, you see from the back, it's pretty unique. And a nice bell tower up the top here. So quite a big town hall, that one. Uh, next up, we have the university, which I accidentally misplaced, so it's a little bit lower than it should be. My apologies for that. But you still get a good view of uh, how the university looks here. Um, again, you know, a very unique building. I'm trying not to say the word too unique too much because they all seem to be very unique, actually. Uh, but that's the love of this game, right? Each schematic has its real, uh, its own feel to it, which is sort of the point of this video. Uh, the Builder's Hut is, is a smaller one compared to the other two, obviously, that we've seen here. Um, so a smaller Builder's Hut for the Birch build. I believe some of this does go underground a little bit as well, which has been cut off a little bit by my world, but that's how the Builder's Hut is going to look. Then the Citizen House. Now, the Level 5 Citizen House here, I believe, is one of the tallest, if not the tallest, of all the Level 5 Citizen Houses. It's very big, and uh, you see here, everyone gets their own floor, so it's more like an apartment building style rather than some of the others, which are more uh, feeling just like big houses. This really does feel more like an apartment, but I really like the way that's been done. Uh, and then we have the hospital as well. So here's the hospital. Uh, a little bit underwhelming, actually. Hospitals, I think, in general look better than this in the pack, but this is the Birch Hospital, you see here. Uh, just, yeah, pretty basic inside as well. So not, not one of my favorites, that one. Now, this one right here is the Caledonia build style and a very cool looking town hall here, as you can see. We go inside. This is what this one looks like. Come out the back as well. It has got a little uh, backyard area there. 
So that is the Caledonia uh, Town Hall, as I say. Then the university next to it here. That's how the university looks. And again, we can head inside here and see how that's looking. Uh, very university feel to it inside there, I have to say. Then we have the Builder's Hut. Pretty fancy looking, but small uh, build here. There we go. We come through to the back here. And you can see down here, all kinds of things going on. Again, it's been a little bit cut off by my world. That will give you a bit of a feel for the Builders Hub. This is the Level 5 Citizen House for Caledonia as well. A um, bit, bit more colour to this one than what you get in some of the other builds for sure. And here's like how the bedrooms and stuff look on the inside. So not too bad that one either. And then the hospital here. And uh, another pretty impressive build as the hospital usually is. And if we go inside here, you'll see there's a few different things here like reception areas and uh, upstairs, obviously the beds and all that sort of stuff for the six citizens. This is the Dark Oak style here. I derped up. That's the level one town hall. So let's just ignore that. This is the level five right here. And I'll have a little look around this. This was one of the ones that as I was making this and preparing this video, you know, with this build, I was thinking about all the different things I could do with this. And I'm actually tempted to do a dark oak colony myself in the future i think the colony uh, the way that it would be built and, and look would play out very differently to any colonies i've done in the past uh, this is the university for that one and uh, as you can see here uh, a lot of like tree walks are going to be connected up here that's what a lot of the builds seem to have and something i definitely like about that as i say very tempted to do one of these in the future myself uh, then over here if we just get through here uh, we got the Builder's Hut, so uh, this is the Builder Hut level 5, of course. That's how it looks inside. That's how that looks. So they all look a little bit like trees, really, to be honest. Um, and then the Citizen House here, this is what these look like. So uh, these are where the beds are. We've got like one, just oh, a couple in here. And uh, there we have one up the top there as well. Probably another one through there. There we go. So uh, yeah, those are the bedrooms and things in there. And finally, of course, the hospital. Um, so... Yeah, very open plan type of build style as well. As you can see here, lots of just leaves for roofs and stuff like that. So uh, that's how the Dark Oak style is looking. So this style is the Fortress style. And if you plan on doing this style, please do check out the wiki and do your research online as every building in the Fortress actually connects up to each other if built correctly. So you do need to follow a bit of a plan. I mean, you don't have to, but it just is kind of cool. And then it will make an overall Fortress. Now, this is the Town Hall, which I've placed up in the air to show you there's actually a ton of stuff that goes on underground in this one. So it's huge huge underground room here like this. So with this one, I wanted to make sure that I definitely uh, showed this off by building it up in the air, otherwise my world would have cut it off. As for the uh, build itself, you can see you got the courtyard area there, this huge like castle-like structure here. And if we fly inside, again, some more big area. So quite a big build. This would be quite a commitment to build this one, this level five town hall fortress, but uh, probably worth it as well with that incredible aesthetic overall. So then we've got the uh, university here. So this is how this looks. Uh, again, it looks a little bit odd because this right here is making up the wall so this would be like outside your colony there's the wall and then you've got your university in here as I say it all sort of connects up into one well fortress right that's all uh blocked off with walls and all that sort of stuff another like significant amount of stuff going on underground here as well as uh, some cool things going on above ground loads of different build things and again quite a, a commitment to build the fortress style but uh, probably worth it. So the Fortress uh, Builder and uh, a few of the other ones here look a little bit different, almost like they're not part of this style, but I can assure you this is the Fortress Builder Hut. So that's how this one is gonna look, as you can see here. Some different like samples of build stuff going on throughout the build, which is pretty common for the Mine Colony schematics of the Builder's Hut. As for the Citizen House, this is a level five, very resident, uh, residential feel, almost it reminds me of like, almost like Victorian London. Uh, not that I am that old, but uh, pictures <laughs> I have seen, artist impressions and such from that time period uh yeah it just reminds me of this but this is how this one looks here and these are the bedrooms very colorful bedrooms actually for uh, for the fortress there and finally the fortress hospital uh, again a little bit underwhelming unfortunately um so yeah this this is this is it um, this bit here was kind of cool with the water and stuff. I, I don't hate that at all. Um, a bit of a fish tank. You could even, you know, add some fish in there yourself, of course. Uh, but that is the uh, the Fortress Hospital build there. Something a little different now. This is called the Frontier build style. And uh, as you can see here, this is the town hall for level five of that one. Uh, just heading on inside here. This is a bit of an empty room, which I'm not sure about uh, what that's all about. Uh, some of these schematics, of course, could get updated in the future. Um, so it goes away underground here as well. Again, uh, my world does cut that out. Uh, I was aware of this, but it's just to give you guys a feel for the builds. I'm not trying to do an in-depth look at every single building. So I figured that was still okay. Um, this is the uh, university here. There you go. You can see there it says uh, Hero Brian Academy. Um, a little bit different. Uh, I, you know, I think some of the other universities are definitely nicer, but this could be you know used for certain things i actually think this would look better as a school it almost looks more like a school than a university to me probably more because of the size of it now incidentally talking about the school you can see here 
we have a couple of spare spaces here. So this one right here, see that's the library. And down here, I believe is the school. Yes, there we go. So that actually will connect up when placed correctly. So in this build, you can place your university, library and school, and it makes one big complex, which is sort of unique and uh, quite cool. You'll see that again uh, later on in this pack, uh, sorry, in, in this uh, video. And it does happen in a few different uh, build styles, things like that. So anyway, that's the university. This is the uh, the builder's hut for it there. And uh, there we go, the picks block us, uh, block placing. <laughs> so there we go. And uh, that's how this one looks. I do love the color of these bricks. I can definitely, I'm getting some ideas on things I'd like to build with the color of these bricks. Not sure how I feel about the build style overall. Not sure it's one I would ever do necessarily. I might use bits from it, but uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, citizen house here, there we go. So this is the uh, level five citizen house. An interesting little vibe hit there. Uh, not, not too sure about that one. And uh, this is the inside of this one. And finally, the hospital, which a uh, pretty decent looking hospital, good size, and uh, quite a nice layout as well in, in, in the way that's been done. We've even got a little cafe here for when people are visiting, which uh, let's be honest, you got to visit someone in hospital. The cafe is usually the only good thing about it, right? <laughs> so there we go. That's uh, that's how that one looks. Now, this one here is very unto its own, isn't it? This is the hive uh, style. And as you can see, uh, as we're about to come on to all these hive builds, they all look very different to anything else you're going to see. So this is the town hall for the hive. And uh, this, this to me just strikes me as something you could really do either underground. If we come back out a second, you see that if you're just building this underground, none of the buildings are that big. The space you'd have to clear would be too tedious. Um, or maybe even floating. A hive colony up in the air maybe would be a cool idea. And um, potentially something I would explore in the future. A sky colony has always interested me. Uh, so whether or not I do that or not, I always have a thousand plans and time to do like one or two of them. <laughs> but there we go. Uh, so this is the uh, university now that we're coming into. Uh, it's very small, right? All the hive builds are small, but I will say I do love the inside of them. I think that's where the hive really comes into its own. And uh, it does give you an interesting feel. I can imagine if you had a lot of these different buildings here that were connected up together, you know, I mean, as the name suggests, you would feel like you're in this hive. It would be a very interesting community feel to it. And I think that's what's uh, drawing me to the potential of doing this one day. Uh, this is the builder's hut incidentally that we're in right now. It's the hive builder's hut there. Love the honey. I think they should have done this on more of the builds have a little honey drip in and you can like make pretend you're in a, a giant beehive they've done it in some of the builds but i think it's something we could do more of of course you could add that yourself if you wanted to uh now i'm getting lost around my head i think i did that one so this one here is the citizen house level five so um, there's three people sleeping in here. Um, I'm not one to judge. <laughs> and then there is, I don't know, some stuff going on here. Yeah, kind of, kind of an interesting, weirdish sort of thing. I, I don't know. That's that's the hive. Is it, let's say there's a room here. I think we did this one. Yeah, oh, there we go. That's, that's the citizen hut there, level five. And finally, of course, the hospital. So here's the hospital in here. Um, not, not too bad. Again, it's the inside, right? The inside is lovely for these builds. Really, really nicely done. Probably my favorite interior of any of the build styles that we're going to go through today, uh, which is all the build styles. So I guess this would make this my absolute favorite. <laughs> so now we're on to the Incan builds. I have to say, like, when you see pictures of real life Incan and Aztec and some of those old uh, you know, South American uh, civilizations as well, they look absolutely fantastic. And this really does sort of capture that in a good way in my opinion so i'm a big fan of this one the town hall here at level five and uh, again this is one of those things that's on my list of things that i would love to one day do an incan civilization and build an incan town but uh, whether i ever get around to that or not it remains to be seen but it is very very cool i love the town hall for this one and i think it is done so so nicely uh this is the university again i was a little disappointed with this one uh it's Pretty small build, as you can see here. Uh, looks like there's some stuff maybe missing or whatever in there. Uh, but yeah, just a smaller version of the build than uh, you get in some of the other ones. It is very pretty. It's very nicely decorated. I think it's just not finished. <laughs> this this year is definitely not finished. So again, this is something that might be uh, developed over time. They do add to this pack a lot. Uh, this is the builder, uh, beautiful looking builder actually. Uh, reasonable size in comparison to the other builders you'll get in all the different styles. Very, very nicely decorated and hugely colorful. So pretty cool that one, uh, do, do like that one. Uh, then we've got, oh, that was where I derped up. Let's keep going. So that, this is the citizen house here. I didn't realize it went into the ground so much. So it's kind of an interesting look to it, as you can see right here. Uh, if we head on to the inside, do the interior of this build. Again, colors galore here and uh, pretty interesting looking build for sure. But there we go. So that's the citizen house right there. And of course, finally, the hospital. And this is what the hospital looks like. Um, again, a little on the small side, um, but also not terrible in, in terms of how it looks. Kind of on the fence with that one. So now we have the jungle build. Uh, now, I believe that might have been... Did I derp up? No, this is this is the Town Hall level 5. Okay, uh, so this is what it looks like. You see here from the outside. 
There we go. And uh, let's head on to the inside as well. Just have you uh, have a look around here and see the different things. So yeah, uh, so this one obviously, uh, you know, it's, it's it's meant for the jungle biome, of course, as you can see, and uh, yeah, I suppose it's uh, it's an interesting look to it. And it probably could make quite a cool colony out of it. Uh, let's move on to this. This is the university, probably uh, one of my favourite of the jungle builds. Actually, this university, I think it's done very nicely, as you can see. Again, you could like build off of here and have a lot of like tree walks and stuff going on with this one. So uh, if that's your sort of thing, then the jungle style could be pretty cool. I think if it was done right, I think it would take a lot of time and a lot of effort. But, but it would look very, uh, very cool and hopefully be a very rewarding style in the end. Uh, this here is the Builder's Hut, of course. There we go, there's that one. The only thing is that there's a lot of similarities. So that's the Builder's Hut. Then this is the Citizen House here. And then that's the hospital. Yeah, they, they're all quite similar. That's my only, uh, the only negative thing I would say about the jungle style. They, there's not really enough variety within that. Of course, you don't have to use all one build style when you make your town. Um, but I know a lot of people do like to do that and play through an entire style. So just something worth mentioning in the video. So now into the medieval category, starting with the medieval birch. This is how the town hall looks here. And, uh, and then on the inside, I do like the medieval builds a lot. I think the medieval builds really suit this pack quite well. And I think just Minecraft in general, that's what we like to see, isn't it? Here's the uh, university. But yeah, generally in Minecraft, I think a lot of people go for medieval build styles with towns and things. And that's probably why we're a bit more drawn to these. And uh, from what I see, most people usually choose a lot of medieval builds to add into their town. Uh, this is the builder here. You know, all kinds of different blocks for this one as you can see lots of things going on underground with this one as well and then this is like the ground level of this build and there's even like this upstairs bit here too which looks a little bit like that uh then we've got the citizen houses here at level five that's how they look so uh yeah not not bad at all and uh we'll have a look on the inside of these the downstairs and the upstairs which are here yep there we go uh, so that was the that was the house, of course, and finally the hospital, which I derped up. I placed it a little bit too low, as you can see. And I think also the front was somewhere else. This is the front here. There we go. Um, so, and then on the inside, just looking like this. So that's the medieval birch style. Now we have the medieval birch alternative. Uh, very, very big town halls you can see compared to the other one. And again, a lot going on underground here, which is why I wanted to make sure I built it up in the air so you guys can kind of see some of the things that are going on here. These little chambers and little rooms that we have down here. Um, definitely very cool. Very, very cool. Uh, looks really, really good. And uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of that one. Love the gates as well to get in. So we go in through these gates here. And as we can see, you got this like courtyard area and then the building inside. Pretty colorful building, actually. And that's how that one looks. So yeah, pretty impressive, that one. Uh, now we have the Builder's Hut, because they don't have a university for this particular build style. So it goes straight into the Builder's Hut, but it is fantastically well done. Absolutely love this one. Uh, just really feel like you're in a medieval town with this one. So I think they've really uh, hit the nail on the head with this build. A lot going on underneath here as well, which is pretty common for the Builder's Huts and all the different materials there that you need. Uh, but yeah, that's how that one's looking. Uh, and then we've got this building over here, and I believe this is probably one of the houses. I think this is a citizen house. Let's go in and uh, see if we can see. But yeah, this is how this one's looking on the inside. Yeah, there we go. Citizen house. That's what that build uh, block there is. And then upstairs here, got some things going on with the beds and whatever, and, a, and an attic or a loft area. So that's the medieval birch alternative there. Okay, medieval dark oak now. Um, probably one of my favorites. I love dark oak in general. Here's how the uh, level five town hall's looking. On the inside here, lots of little rooms and things to go into. Uh, very dark oak feel to it, as you might expect, uh, but not a huge amount of differences in the block palette they use. It is mostly all dark stuff in the inside, as you can see, uh, but it is done very nicely and does look very cool. Um, so then we've got the uh, the university here, which uh, not not too bad at all. Looks a little bit smaller, but highly decorated and pretty unique looking, as you can see. All different things going on in here. Uh, let's go upstairs a little bit as well. What was this down here? It's kind of cool. Yeah, a little food area. And here's the upstairs here as well. All right, not too bad. Uh, so that was the uh, university there. This right here is, of course, the builder's hut. Very nicely done. Similar to the uh, the other medieval styles. And uh, we can see downstairs and upstairs there. Don't need to spend too long on that one, I don't think. Um, then we have the uh, citizen house here. And uh, very nicely done as well. We can go on the inside here. You can see that. And there's this little like, gap in between, which is kind of cool as well. A little bit unique. Not something I've noticed in any of the other build styles, unless I'm wrong, which I might find out. Um, but let's just go back here. But yeah, so it kind of connects on the upstairs level. There's no connection down there between the two chambers. But then upstairs, you can connect that up if you wanted to. So yeah, pretty cool. Nice idea. Almost feels like there's a couple little houses there in together. And then the hospital here. And this is how this hospital looks. 
Uh, pretty standard hospital style for the medieval ones. They all got the same sort of thing with different build materials, but that's how that is looking. Now, the medieval Dark Oak alternative is a bit of a beast, as you can see. This is the level five town hall. And if we go down to here, you'll see that this would be the ground level as we come in through these gates here. But there is a heck of a lot going on underground with this build. Again, these little chamber areas here. Uh, incredibly cool. Look at this. So nicely done. So, so nicely done. And uh, yeah, I might even use this one in my current season that I'm doing over on my server. I'm not sure about that just yet. You guys will see. But love this courtyard area here as well. Look at that. Fantastic. Citizens walking through here will really bring this to life. And so many different little bits you can go into with all different things going on. Uh, as I say, this is why I can't spend too long going into each building because some of them we could be here for, you know, you could do 20 minutes easily just looking through this build, I would say. But uh, yeah, that's how that one looks very, very cool. So that's the Medieval Dark Oak alternative. Now we move on to the builder. Again, they didn't have a university for this one but let's go around here because it looks pretty cool from this angle i think with the crane thing there holding on to that gold block um yeah pretty cool and a nice little walkway through here as well i think these little walkways are great for medieval style uh, i think it's definitely something that makes it feel more medieval and yeah just a really awesome looking building that one uh then over here i'm guessing this is where the citizen house it's hard to remember i, I did so much building today but yes it is citizen house there for medieval dark oak alternative that's how that one's looking. All right, now we have Medieval Oak. That's how this one looks. A bit of a smaller town hall, a level five town hall here, um, but nicely done inside and out, just uh, you know, a little bit smaller. Uh, then we've got the university for that build. Uh, very classical feeling university here, as you can see. Nice little courtyard area there as well, and uh, the hallways and things. But yeah, pretty pretty nice this one. Uh, very, very nicely done for a medieval university, I would say. Uh, then we've got the Medieval Builder, um, much like the other medieval builds. So they all look pretty much the same. Um, and uh, have this wide variety of build materials here that you need to make them up and uh, this kind of aesthetic to them, but it is very nicely done. This is the uh, citizen house here. So pretty elaborate citizen house for a level five. And if you're building a lot of these, it'd be a lot to do. Very nice for the walkways through here. So the medieval corridor sort of feel to it. And uh, this is how the inside is looking for this one. So, yep. Pretty nice. And finally, the hospital, which again, looks like all the other medieval hospitals really just with different uh, build palette on the inside there for the oak build rather than uh, some of the other ones. So now we've got medieval oak alternative, and this is probably the best looking castle that you get in this game for a town hall, in my opinion. Um, so again, a whole lot going on underground here in this one, as we've seen with some of the others. And uh, yeah, just like interesting chambers and stuff like that down below, which is pretty cool. Uh, but coming back out, this is how it looks from the outside. Very nicely done, uh, say so castle sort of feel. Some small, like almost walkways more than a courtyard area as such. And then the central sort of keep area here as well. And a few little like lookout points and things. So yeah, rather nicely done indeed. And uh, if you're looking to build some sort of castle, then this definitely would be a good idea for you. Now we have the uh, alternative oak uh, builder's hut here. Again, they didn't have the university for this one. Uh, this is very, very nicely done. It's pretty much the same as the dark oak one, but just with the uh, oak builds uh, and oak trim and stuff rather than dark oak. But yeah, nice corridors and things like that. And uh, pretty good looking build. And finally, the uh, citizen's hut for the oak alternative, which I'm not a big fan of this one, personally. Not, not, not one of my favorite citizens huts. Uh, this is how it looks on the inside here. And uh, nothing wrong with the inside, really. It's it's fine. But the outside, I don't know. Not, not too sure about that one. Now, Medieval Spruce, level top five town hall. Not too big, um, but Medieval Spruce, I think, is quite a popular build choice. People who play Minecraft in general seem to quite like the aesthetic of the spruce logs and things. And it, it is a nice color. It does look pretty good. Uh, this right here is the University, which uh, I'm definitely a fan of this. I think this looks really, really cool. Uh, we can go over the top here and have a look down. You've got like, a little courtyard area. And then we can go inside here and have a look at some of the classrooms and things going on. So uh, yeah, very intricately done on the inside. Be a big build that one. Lots of resources needed uh, to build that one. Uh, the builder's hut, same as all the other medieval builder's huts we've seen. So uh, yeah, that's how that looks and lots of different things going on downstairs here. So uh, yeah, that's how that's well, that's how it looks. <laughs> uh, then we've got the citizen house here. Uh, really nicely done. Pretty similar to a lot of the other medieval ones, um, but they just obviously uh, use more spruce for this one than uh, they do in the others, of course. And uh, then we've got the hospital, which is the same as all the hospitals for medieval, but just with spruce wood being the uh, the main theme of the wood. So now we come to medieval spruce alternative, which to me, I always think of Hogwarts when I see this. I don't know, maybe that's just me, but I definitely think for like a medieval fantasy castle type of build, this would be the one to choose. Uh, wonderful courtyard areas going through here, as you can see, with stairs and intricate designs and things like that. There is a lot going on underneath this build as well. We can fly down in here 
And you can see there's all different uh, areas here. There we go. There's Harry's Cauldron <laughs> right there. And uh, yeah, just lots of different like rooms and corridors and things, which again, I think adds to that sort of fantasy magic feel. But uh, I might be alone on that one. Let me know what you think in the comments. <laughs> and uh, this is how it looks in here. Oh, there's my throne. <laughs> throne for the king of the town as well. Yeah, pretty cool. Uh, pretty pretty big fan of this one, uh, personally. So that is uh, Medieval Spruce Alternative, as I say. Now, this might be my favorite builder set. Medieval Spruce Alternative builder set. This is how it looks here. Round the back, I absolutely love it. I mean, look at that. And I think I'm definitely going to be using this one in my current uh, series I'm doing on my server because this just looks really, really cool to me. And uh, it's going to fit nicely with the aesthetic of my town. So, yeah. But this is this one. And then, obviously, lots going on underneath as well, as is common with every builder set in the game. And finally, the citizen house here. Pretty elaborate citizen's house. Obviously, it is level five, but even so. Um, and then on the inside here, very intricately done. Lots of decorating and stuff. So, lots of resources needed to get uh, a level five citizen house for this uh, type of build but the end result is pretty nice you've got the dual chimneys going on here which are uh, pretty cool you can imagine your town really looking alive with lots of chimneys and the smoke they produce now this style takes me back this is nordic which was my first ever my colony series playthrough that i did was nordic and uh, the series went incredibly well so it's always had a bit of a special place in my heart and for that reason, I do quite like the Nordic build style. So let's have a better look. Obviously, this is the town hall here, level five. Um, but they've added a bit of color to it. it. It looks nice. It's obviously a very woody sort of build, um, but with the different colors and things, sort of brings it alive. And the torches as well and stuff, it looked pretty cool, uh, cool at night, this one. Uh, but that, yeah, so that's the town hall. This is the university. Now, this university has the worst entrance of all the universities. <laughs> Often with the universities in this build, they'll do them really, really nicely for this one. Not so much. Inside, however, it's totally fine. Lots of different rooms, lots of different research areas and things going on, and it does look good. It's just that initial uh, way in is a little bit underwhelming, isn't it? Uh, this is the Builder's Hut, which is uh, one of the biggest and fanciest Builder's Hut you'll get in this game. Um, heading on to the inside here, it's a little bit less going on inside than some of the others, but uh, yeah, it's, it's an interesting one. Interesting Builder's Hut, that one. Not sure what I think about it. Uh, I don't hate it at all, um, but... Uh, yeah, kind of, kind of different, right? Um, and then we got the uh, these are the houses, citizen houses, level five. Um, pretty, pretty nice looking builds for a, for a citizen house. Go inside here and see. There's a few different things. Bedrooms on different floors. Quite compact once you get in. You see, that's like quite big uh, in terms of the height. But in terms of the width and the length, it's pretty small, actually, this build. So, uh, yeah, th that might suit your town, depending on what you're doing, obviously. Uh, and then we've got here the hospital. And uh, that's looking pretty cool. There we go. I think they didn't used to have a hospital for Nordic. I think when I did my series on this originally, there was no Nordic hospital. So it's nice they've added that to the game and uh, it's looking pretty good. So another build style I've done in the past is this one. This is the sandstone build style. The level five town hall looks pretty spectacular. If you're going for a sand town, then having this in that sand town is really going to bring it to life and be a wonderful focal point for the town. So this is how the inside looks here. You've got meeting rooms and things and like open plan-ish corridors and such. Pretty cool. I, I I do like this one. I enjoyed building them with this build style in uh, in the previous series that I did. And this is the uh, university for it right here, which uh, is quite um, square looking, but a lot of the uh, sort of builds in the sandstone style are, and it's kind of realistic, I think. So I don't actually dislike it because I think it fits the aesthetic. Nice courtyard area, a little bit uh, dry and stuff as you expect for the uh, sandstone theme. But yeah, pretty cool build, that one, for the uh, university there. Um, so then we've got the uh, the builder's hut here. That's how this one looks. So uh, yeah, not not too bad at all. And uh, if we go down here, is there any underground bits this? Doesn't look like it. Okay, there's some stuff up here as well. This is the uh, houses now that they live in, the level five houses. So yeah, that's how they look, which, yeah, fine, pretty pretty normal. Uh, and then, obviously, we've got the uh, hospital, which, uh, I don't know, I'm not, not a huge fan of the hospital for this build. Um, it's just a little bit boring, in my opinion, compared to some of the amazing builds that we've seen so far. This is the Space Wars style, and I find it a little confusing, because i got to say, this right here might be the most impressive building in the game. This is the Space Wars University at level 5, but this is the Space Wars Town Hall at level 5, which, to me, they look like two completely different styles. This one here is a bit like you've landed on Mars and you're trying to, you know, get like some sort of basic colony going. Almost like a hive type colony, but set in, in space maybe, you know, or, or set in the future or something like that, right? With these little rooms and things going on here. 
Uh, yeah, kind of interesting. Um, whereas this right here is like, no, 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 we're in the year 4000, right? <laughs> it's like a whole different feel to the modern build. Absolutely love this building. Really, really do. I think I think you guys will agree. This is fantastically nice building. Uh, in terms of the inside, let's have a little look here. So this one looks, I like the little things like this craft dimension here. It looks like the craft dimension of the future almost, right? They've done it a little bit differently. Just added something to it. And I'm a fan of that. I think that was a cool idea. They've done the same thing here with different colored glass. So it's almost like a, a future, like almost technological craft dimension type of thing. And, uh, and yeah, I thought that was that was an awesome idea from them. Um, but then we get to here. <laughs> so this is the builder's hut for the Space Wars style. Now, in, in fairness, a lot of it goes underground and some that's been cut off here and stuff. But again, it's you go from that at level five to this at level five for the builder's hut. And it's it's more like you've just set up a very basic colony on, on Mars or something. Uh, then we have the citizen houses, which a little bit odd, right? A lot of it is underground, as you can see here. I don't know. To me, it just feels like a different style to that. I don't know. Let me know what you think, guys. Then we've got the hospital, which to me, this now is starting to get more back into that, right? It's just a smaller version of a very technological, modern style build. But yeah, that's how the hospital looks there. Have a little quick look on the inside as well. Got the water elevators and things there. So, uh... Well, actually, they're not water alerts, are they? They're just decorational. Okay, I guess you get up and down with the stairs there. All right, yep, yeah, okay. Yeah, there we go, that's the hospital. This is the stone build style. Here is the town hall at level five for that one. And uh, if we head on inside here, that's how this one looks. There we go. And the upstairs bit. Uh, so that's, as I say, town hall. Then we've got the university over here. A um, bit more basic looking, but uh, I think not not like a bad one uh, uh, build style. Just just a little bit basic uh, compared to some of the others. But it depends what you're going for. Obviously, uh, there's all different ways you can build towns in this game. I would say this stone one feels almost a little bit more like a great one for beginners if you're playing the pack. Um, here's the builder's hut here. Just seems like there's maybe a fewer resources needed than what's needed for uh, some of the other builds, both in terms of the number of resources and the variety of different resources that you need for this one. Uh, this is the the uh, citizen house here. You see, they're all quite kind of basic. They just sort of do their job without making a fuss about it. And uh, if you're new to the game, as I say, perhaps that's the one for you. Here is the uh, hospital, incidentally. You know, they just... I don't, I don't have much to say about this style, to be honest. They, they just sort of like... Someone went, okay, we need a hospital. Let's just build that. There it is. There's the hospital. You know, it's, it's like that sort of feel to it. So, yeah, not my favorite, but that's what it is. Okay, here is True Dwarven. Um, I, it is unique. I'm trying to, I, I, I tell you what, I've said unique way too many times, but uh, but it is. <laughs> it, it is a bit unto its own. Um, and as you can see on the inside here, this is how this looks. We go upstairs, have a look around as well. All right, there we go. Um, but yeah, it's a True Dwarven style. Uh, here, if that was the town hall, this, of course, is the university. So have a little look inside here. So we've got different things on the different floors here, which, you know, I don't hate this one. I think it's done in an interesting way. Um, you know, I, I'm trying to think about where you would actually build this, though, how that would work out. The library and school, incidentally, they do connect up to the university in this particular style as well. So that's what these uh, holes here are for. So, like, basically, uh, you'd have doors here where you could walk through to the other buildings. This right here is the builder's hut, which probably is the biggest builder's hut in the game. I, I don't think of all the ones we've seen today that there's been any bigger than this. Uh, tons of resources needed to build this. You've got all these different areas here. Uh, doesn't seem like it's got much of an underground bit, but tons of stuff going on above the ground, as you can see. So... Yeah, you'd have your hands full building this one. Plenty of stuff to do there uh, to get. This is the citizen's house here. Level 5 citizen's house is how that looks. All right, so let's go back in here. You can kind of see that and the little bedrooms on the sides here. Yep, there we go. And after all those pretty big builds, we've got the hospital, which looks like this. <laughs> very different, very small hospital build. Uh, whoever built this one wasn't too worried about the hospital, were they? But... Uh, yeah, there we go. That's what it looks like. So one of the newer ones now, this is the warped build style. So obviously using the warped wood and stuff that you get from the nether. And you can now build colonies in the nether as well. So I guess that was the idea behind this one, which is probably why they went for the blueness, because most of the river, excuse me, most of the nether is red. So this would actually stand out a bit. The inside, pretty intricately done, right? Pretty cool the way they've done this. Uh, do like that. That was the uh, town hall, obviously. We come over here to the university now and go inside here. And again, reasonably nicely done on the inside. Definitely just feels a little bit different with the uh, warped uh, style compared to some of the other styles. Uh, but the builder, the citizen house and the hospital basically look the same in my opinion. There's not a lot of variety to these, is there? So this is the builder right here. That's how this one looks. Uh, pretty intricate on the inside for that one. Uh, then the citizen house here. Again, this is uh, of course a level five. So that's how this one looks, the beds and things in here as well. Okay, so it looks from the outside. 
and finally the hospital. So yeah, there we go. So they all kind of look the same, those three, but uh, but there you go. That's what they are. Different patient rooms and things in here as well. So yeah, that's the uh, that's the hospital build there. So last but not least, we have the wooden build style. Again, probably a great one if you're like an entry level sort of style of build. Pretty like intri um, intricate builds, like more so on the inside and stuff, but uh, at the same time, quite simplistic on the outside. And just, I don't know, kind of like a traditional wine colonies feel to me. I think these were some of the earliest ones that were developed on these schematics, the wooden ones. So that's pretty cool. Uh, this is the university here. Nicely done, really. Um, pretty simple build, but uh, very intricate on the inside, as I say. Seems to be where the, a lot of the focus has gone. Um, but there you go. That's how that one looks from the outside. Uh, then we've got the builder here. Little tiny builder. Nicely uh, done, though. It looks pretty quaint. You know, smaller st style type of builder. But lots going on on the inside. And would just be quite a nice little hut. I mean, you can imagine a town made out of this. It could be made to look quite nice and get you guys to know the pack without having to uh, dive too deep into it. Like, for example, the Space Wars build that you still see there behind me would be. Uh, then we've got the uh, citizen huts here, which are very pretty. Again, like more of a, like a village feel to the wooden style, I think, you know, rather than like a big town, um, which is uh, absolutely nothing wrong with that, of course, to, to build more of a village than a, a huge town. But it uh, looks pretty cool. And then the hospital there, which not my favorite hospital, to be honest, but uh, I guess, yeah, does the job, right? Gets your citizens cured. <laughs> so that's the main thing. So now I just want to finish with this honorable mention. This is a steampunk house. So the steampunk doesn't have any other builds, to my knowledge at the moment, um, just this house. But it does look very cool. And I thought I'd include it as it might be something you guys might want to have, like a little steampunk neighborhood, maybe. Um, or it's probably going to be a schematic that's going to be worked on. So something I may cover in the future. But it's pretty cool the way they've done this stuff, as you can see. Uh, here's how it looks on the inside, by the way. There we go. Different things going on here and up here. So, yeah, there we go. And obviously, there's big towers here at the back and stuff as well. So that's the steampunk style there. So the dad jokes are, of course, coming. But I want to say I really hope today's video was helpful. If you guys did like it, please do consider liking and subscribing for more. And if you're interested in joining my server, then you can check out the links down in the description or join my channel by hitting the blue box below this video. What is the best award to get in sun tanning Olympics? Bronze. Why shouldn't you eat a clock? It's time consuming. Why was the burglar feeling sensitive? He takes things personally. What did Mario say when he broke up with <clears throat> What did Mario say when he broke up with Princess Peach? It's not you, it's a me, Mario.